Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jonathan here from VFX Shorts again. I'm going to be bringing you another tutorial. <clears throat> I, one of my most popular videos was uh, the film, a film burning and how to do a film burn in uh, Final Cut Pro 10. But then I do realize that Final Cut Pro 10 is a $300 software and not many people are going to invest that into a program. But if I do recommend it now with the new updates, it has become quite the software so um yeah let's get right into it um yeah so we're here in iMovie 11 um this is pretty much work in iMovie whatever uh, iMovie whatever um version you have and uh yeah i'm just gonna start a new project and uh let's get into this it's, film burning is very simple um let's say and uh um yeah, so let's uh, maybe get this little portion here. Maybe we want some of that. We can drag that into our project. And I have made a video on how to make iMovie look like Final Cut Pro 10. Check that out. That'll be in the annotations or description below. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I just want to make this a little more visible. So what we can do here... Um, we can uh, split our clip where the playhead is, and let's say that we want to add this film burn right in the middle of our split clips. And now we have this film burn action just going on through. Oh, and these film, film burns I'm going to put in the description below. Uh, these are by Digital Cinema Foundry, and you guys should go check them out. They're free. They'll have free. A four free 720 templates of film burns and uh, yeah for sure check out the website down below and follow along in this tutorial so we're gonna click here our uh, template browser for transitions and we're gonna just add a cross dissolve in between and it's very simple pretty much just like a Final Cut Pro 10 pretty much any software you work with a film burn will work pretty well you could always you know, retime it, but and slow it down, and you do have more control of that in Final Cut Pro 10. But as you see, the film burn looks pretty nice. Maybe you want to add some of this garnish, I guess. We'll drag that in here as well, and we can add a cross dissolve as well. And then we have a nice transition to our film burn back to our thing, so we can just add this film burn right there and it's really the cross dissolve that makes this pretty awesome and work well and it's very simple since they pretty much have all of this built in for you to use so that's pretty much it guys that is how to film burn in iMovie 11 iMovie 10 I, as long as you have the cross dissolve um yeah that'll work uh check out that Final Cut Pro 10 looking like or iMovie look like Final Cut Pro 10 video check out my Film Burns and Final Cut Pro 10 if that is the software you're using and um, hope you guys enjoy this. Hope it was uh, a video that was uh, useful for you and uh, entertaining as well. Uh, thank you guys. Check out the channel and I will see you guys later.